Kara Brookins and her four children share a beautiful home. A home they built from the ground up with their bare hands. A tremendous undertaking, Kara says, was their only option. My kids and I had been through a really bad domestic violence situation. And during that time, I was looking for some way to feel safe and stronger. So I started just dreaming, just fantasizing of, well, what if I had a big pile of lumber and we just started to, from scratch, to build a house? And through the course of just a few days, it turned into this mindset for all of us that, of course, we're doing this. With a crew consisting of four children under the age of 17, the family got to work. So many of the projects were completely overwhelming and the plumbing was one of the biggest. And I could never show that something was going to be hard. All of my kids were watching me and it was like if I showed fear or I showed doubt, everything would fall apart. So I had to constantly play like, yeah, we got this, no problem, we'll do the plumbing. With no prior building experience, Kara relied on primitive self-help YouTube videos. This was, you know, the tail end of 2007, so YouTube was a lot different. It was really grainy videos and they weren't well organized. You couldn't find a channel that just said, here's how to build a house from start to finish. With only nine months to complete the house or face defaulting on their loan, Kara worked basically around the clock. I had a full-time day job. I went in super early in the morning so I could get off at three and get my kids from school. We would change into construction clothes and head out to here to the job site. And then of course, after they were in bed, uh, me heading back out to work here until one or two in the morning. We had to you know, angle headlights so we could see what we were doing. And then I would go back to the house and sleep for three hours and head into the day job. It was grueling, it was brutal, it was absolutely brutal. Her eldest daughter, Hope, played the role of mom while Kara worked on the house at all hours. I've always taken on kind of the second boss role in the family, but it's a different level of pressure to keep everything calm and peaceful and running orderly so that she doesn't have another thing to think about. Kara's other three kids had specific tasks as well. Drew, my oldest son, was 15. I ended up relying on him a lot for heavy lifting. And so he was, you know, on the other end of every piece of plywood I carried. Jada was also in charge of doing things that saved us a lot of money. So she was gathering bent nails as we worked and taking her little hammer and straightening nails so that we could reuse them. Roman? Somebody was always assigned to Roman because he was two. And he was, of course, a blast on the, on the site because you got a two-year-old rolling through mud puddles. Kara and her family finished their dream house on time, passing all inspections on the first try. The amount of power that you feel walking through a house, remembering the way that you were crawling up in the rafters, trying to figure out how to place them, and that you are literally wrapped in something you made yourself, it's an incredible feeling. And Inkwell Manor still stands tall eight years later.